Okay, guys, that, uh, that last video got a little lengthy, and I, I feel like I short change on there. I want to come back and just um, uh, just verify the, the correct answers here. We, we were solving this equation. We come down to this uh, sine of x equals negative 3 fourths, okay, uh, which, of course, we have to go to our calculator for. And then, um, and then the other one is sine of x equals uh, 2, which has no solution. So, um, so I am going to go to my calculator, and I'm going to ask for the calculator to compute the inverse sine of, of negative 3 fourths, okay? So um, we're clear here. We'll ask for the inverse sine, um, the inverse, sorry, the inverse sine of, of a negative 0.75, and uh, that is... Uh, this value of negative 0.84. Now that's in radians, okay? It's not in terms of pi, but it's still radians value. So pi is 3.14. So this is some fractional part of pi. It's negative 0.84. Now I, I thought um, Desmos would be a better view of this. So here's my uh, sine graph. Here's this negative 3 fourths. Here's that value that, is, is that intercept there. That's the one they gave you. That's the negative um, 0.848. Because remember, uh, when the, we're taking the inverse, we're working on the, the sine going from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So, so um, in, the, in the range there. So it gives me that value. Now, the next solution is 2 pi down the line. So that's going to be right there. Okay. Now, I'd like to know what this solution is. Okay. So this solution, here's, here's, here's what we got to think. This distance from the origin, okay, 0.848. From there to um, the axes, okay, is this same distance, okay, from pi to this. So in other words, this point is is 3.99, and this point is um, 5.435. So if I go to my calculator, we'll see we'll get those numbers, uh, and uh, that hopefully will validate this. So so we've got. Um, We've got this value, and if I add that value to um, my, uh, add if I add two pi to that, that's one full revolution. That'll give me, uh, that'll give me the next hit down the line. Okay, so adding two pi to that. All right, it just seems like everything's going off here. Here's my clock. You hear it? Yeah. All right, uh, two pi added to that. Gives me that, uh, that's at 545 five right there, okay? Now, the other value, the other value is going to be uh, pi plus that, okay? So pi plus that, and uh, pi plus that, plus that value should be um, that point, uh, that point eight four point eight four eight should give me that. 3.99 value, as you can see, it does right there. Okay, so so just keep that in mind. You really have to have to have an understanding of the graphs and their intercepts to be able to uh, evaluate these things uh, and come up with all the solutions. So so I would say in terms of the solution, I go 3.99 plus 2 pi um, and 5.5 5.4 plus 2 pi, or we go the eight. Uh, the negative 8.48 plus 2 pi, and then the pi plus that positive value of 8.48. So, so that's that's how we can proceed to find those. Okay, chances are on a test I would give you some reference value on that, and you can just you could just tag it, you know, with uh, a plus uh, pi and a plus 2 pi, which would give you those values. Okay, so just 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 keep that in mind. Okay, there you go. That's the end.